Hey, old man. We finished that quest for you. <laughs> what ho! You seem to be a force to be a reckoned with. How'd you like them apples? My whiskers are a quiver with excitement. Truly, you are. Truly, you're something more than just an average kid. What ho! Oh. Maybe this will open new possibilities in the future. Writers have come here before, wanted to learn about the outside world. With anticipation in their hearts and excitement in their step. What ho! <laughs> Not really? Okay. And yet, and yet, they stop coming. The ways of those who hunt monsters and those who raise them are different. Truly, this is difficult. This is. Truly, this is difficult to understand culture so different from our own, oh. and so we choose to live our lives separately. But over time, we forget each other, become isolated, and lost contact. So us coming here now is like an opportunity, right? Now you guys can get to know each other all over again, possibly. Oh. Maybe so, maybe so, but it won't be an easy task. The hunters will be shocked to learn the existence of riders. I mean, is it really all that? Shocking? I mean, Jesus Christ. First of all, you must allay, 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 allay they fears. Oh. Sure as Paul, I want everyone to know about my buddy here. And I want my buddy to learn about hunters too. Oh. Very good, very good. I shall arrange for you to go on another quest. When we are done here, you should take a look at the quest board. Okay. Awesome, thanks Gramps. I'm afraid that's about all I can do for you, younglings. Whether you're able to get along with the townsfolk, it's up to you. <laughs> keep it up, keep it up, young rider. Boy. You've got me with you, buddy. Nothing to worry about. Boy. All right, let's fill ourselves up before we head out. Another quest? Say it again, yeah, sure. So, what now? Are we just supposed to build a relationship with the town folk or the next day? Okay. Hey. Hmm. Ah, oh, you finish a hunter quest. Riders can be pretty rad too, I guess. Yeah, don't underestimate us, bro. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this game is way ahead of its time. Hmm, maybe you should go do my quest too, kid. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, another quest? Possum, set them up. We'll knock them down. Hmm. My quest is pretty tough. I don't know if you guys will be able to handle it. Go and collect some mushrooms from the... I thought you said you like collecting mushrooms. Why you want me to do it? From the bottom rainforest? Okay. Collecting mushrooms? What part of that is hard? Is this a joke? Man, you just don't get it, do you? I'm tote serious, bro. Okay. No way are you such an amazing hunter if you find something like that difficult. Mm -hmm. I told you, bro. I'm just Roberto. R Roberto. I think it's Roberto. You just gotta go with it. Seeing is believing, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, there's probably some strong monsters in that forest. That's probably why you think it's hard. So, you gonna go do it? Sure, why not? I don't give a shit. <laughs> nice one, kid. Well, I'll leave you to it then. I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm pretty sleepy. Yum. I'm doing what? Sheesh. What a useless dude. Um, well, if you're gonna go... Well, if you're going... If, I don't know why I can't read. Well, if you're going on to this dumb quest, I guess I better come with you. No, why don't you stay here and get some rest? Boy. I promise I won't leave you behind. Okay, I lied. I will leave you behind. Uh, let's find enough mushrooms to feed the fatales, buddy. Listen, uh... Oh, Na Naru? Navaru? Navaru? Whatever your name was again. I still don't like you. And I kinda, kinda wanna kill you. Hey kid, I forgot to tell you, but I'm not really about those blue... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not really about those blue mushrooms. What are you talking about? Fine shrooms are my jazz. Aromatic when fried and tasty when put in stew. I'll mark it on your map uh, where to find them. Okay, you said the what now? The what forest? I'm pretty sure it's only like one forest, right? In this area. Well, I'm leaving this task up to you, Nav Navi, Navi bro, kid, whatever. 
Uh, okay. We need to get some prime mushrooms. This way. That shit's getting up, man. I thought the bridge blew up. <laughs> I thought the bridge blew up. Okay, we're here. Wow, I mean, this... I gotta tip my hat off again. This game is so beautiful and so detailed. Like, obviously, you can't go all the way over there, so they can just put, like, a bunch of stuff and make it look like it's, it's bigger than what it is. But the way it's... Just just the way they did it is just... It's it's really good. I don't know, I don't know how else to say it. It's, they did a good job. I mean... This feels like a really big area. When look at the map, see it's just like kind of, kind of straightforward. But the way they got the placement is pretty awesome. It just feels like uh, it just feels really big, and it's on a 3DS. I mean, 3DS. It's pretty decent for its time. And this game, it just it just looks like a new game, you know. Well, I guess it is kind of, but for me, that is. No, they go that thing. The mill on. God damn it. So you saw me. <laughs> Gonna have to kill you. And you know this. Gotcha. Nice. You knocked it out. Nasty fucking bug. Ugh, get away. Ugh. So nasty. I wouldn't even want to touch that with my sword. Because they'll get that nasty bug juice on my sword and shit. And then I have to clean it off. I'd rather clean off blood than fucking bug shit. All right, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. There's no cheat for moving fast in mud, so. Snatch stick with What kind of monster is that? That's a new monster. I've never seen that shit before. What the hell is that? It's like a dog monster. Look at that. That's a new monster. Ain't it? I've never seen that monster before. I was kind of hoping that this game would introduce some new monsters, even if it's just like an exclusive to the story series. That's fine. I just want to see something new. What are you doing here? Uh, I don't matter. None of my business. Oh yeah, we'll be looking for some mushrooms. Uh, prime shroom. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey, he's cute. Uh -huh. Yes. Better, 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 better. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I kind of wish you were on. What? What's that? Something creepy's over there. It better be a fucking spider. And it is. It's that spider that's from Monster Hunter 4. It's a Narcelia. I hate this. The thing is blurry. Lord knows I don't want to see this shit. Okay. Yeah. Ew, that's so nasty. Whoa. Get his Tiger Rex sword. Well, the rest is totally up to you. Huh? Watch out! Don't take your eyes off the monster for too damn long, looking at me. Time to play. What was I already doing? Oh, a technical attack. Get 
Well, that's a spider, so yay! Vitamin, vitamin! C for cock! Cock? <laughs> hey, Cloud. I mean, uh, Roberto. You came to help us! Whoa, you're super skilled! That's amazing, Roberto! Mm -hmm. You thought you were just gathering, so you'll let your guard down, huh? You don't get it, kid. Hm. The mushroom is the this mu the mushroom and this forest grow alongside the tracks that monster use. Where there is a mushroom, there's a monster. That's why they say to face monsters, you gotta first know the forest like the back of your hand. Is this really the same guy who was lounging around in the house earlier? Yeah. What's wrong? Uh. I touched the bug. Oh god, oh fuck! <laughs> exactly the same reaction I have. This may be the end of the road for me. Oh yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. It is. Jesus, guys, I, I I don't like bugs. I don't even like flies. Like I, I hate. I don't like contact. I don't like. I barely like human contact. I don't like touching people. I don't like when people touch me. I don't like bugs. Jesus Christ! Even just looking at them just make me feel disgusted. Ugh. Ugh. I hate it. But it's kind of funny because Spider-Man is my favorite fucking superhero, <laughs> and it's just <laughs> a little bit ironic. But anyway, uh, huh? I guess I, I guess he really is afraid of bugs. Yeah, who ain't? I do kind of think spiders and snakes. I think I think snakes are kind of cool. <laughs> like looking at them, not like from on TV. <laughs> and spiders, I don't know, they they're kinda yeah. kinda cool, I guess, looking at them. But it's like they're interesting to like learn about, but like seeing them in real life, that's a whole that's reality. That's when reality kicks in and it's like no uh uh that, keep it on TV where it's supposed to be. Anyway, uh come on, go ahead, dig in. <laughs> Just trying to stop. <coughs> That's some Ganali power you got, kid. Taming and riding monsters and stuff like that. <coughs> our bonds with our monsters are all about kinship. We're at least 120 percent in sync. Ruin Karu. Shaka. In sync, huh? Rock Majia. That totally reminds me of something my old teacher once said. Sekiro Oro says to beast. Be the forest, become the beast. Deep, huh? Yeah, I like it. Ruma much touch. Yego. Remy Emirinik. I was totally a newbie. Man, I had like zero clue what she was trying to tell me. How soon me to motor says painting. That's a Tiger Rex. First time I hang on, I'm waiting for the text. First time I faced a monster, it did not go well. Uh I'm talking some epic failure here. Are you wearing the same clothes back then? Are you still wearing the same shit? No don't they we room out to I'm just swinging my sword around. Like ah then boom. I was flat on my back. More bit, mask. I totally thought Take it was the end. I totally thought it. Oh, I can just skip. Okay. I totally thought it was the end for me. Like, hello, big, big hunters guild in the sky. Visit to Abba, Kiwet Sondu. But then I heard the whisper of a. I don't know why I can't read. But then I heard the whisper of the wind, the sound of the river flowing, and it like blew my mind. Visit the Kuo. I was like, whoa. The wind was like my breath, and the water was like my blood. Get me? He was one with nature. Yeah, go Rick. Like, it's all the same. I felt more rad, more alive than I ever had before. Then right when I got up, I saw the monster just lying flat on the ground beside me. It's eating. I thought I was seeing things. Yeah, go more for like a tiny moment, I was that monster. 
<laughs> the monster was me. I guess you could maybe say I felt in sync with it. Did you kill it? I mean, what happened? I was like... It was like I was part of the forest itself. No different from a monster, really. So you did manage to kill it. Be the forest, become the beast. Those words finally made sense. Monsters, humans, we all gotta live as one. Share the blessing of nature, you know? <laughs> what are you smoking, dude? <laughs> Monsters give us hunters a livelihood. Can't have one without the other dude. Dika. Maybe you and I aren't so different, huh? I always thought hunters and riders were about similar as Devil Joe and a pickle. <laughs> That's the one time this cat made me laugh. <laughs> and it was something about it's about fucking Devil Joe. <laughs> But maybe, <clears throat> but maybe we can all be buddies after all. Second, yes. Slow down, bro. No disrespect, but I still don't like get what you two are all about. Doc, safety got the dot. But I'm willing to learn. Gotta admit, I'm curious about this whole kinship you got going on. Here's a totally rad idea. How about you prove to me what a rider means? What oh, what a rider made of? I thought I already did that. I thought you never asked, but I thought we already proved to you. My paw pads of power never cheat, never cease to amaze. But you'll help out too, right, buddy? Sure. But I thought we already did it. I thought we already proved ourselves. <coughs> My voice is starting to crack. Too much reading. <coughs> the next day. Number 15. Monster Riders. <laughs> Finding out what it means to be a monster rider and improving your kinship with monsters. All right, let's head over to see the ladies at the guild. <laughs> now you're talking. They're always telling me about how lonely they get when I don't stop by. I'm pretty popular with the ladies too. They love my super fluffy fur. No, they don't. Hey, buddy, let's go take a look at the quest board. No, I want to take a look at the ladies. There might be people who need help from Ryder, and no need for that one. Wait, wait, no need for that one such person is right here. Who said that? Oh, you're that girl. It's been a while since we last met. I'm glad to see you looking well. You came out, you came out of nowhere, Captain. You're always turning up like this. She's here. She's here. Oh, is she your, was she, is she your master? Well, that is quite the greeting, Roberto. And to think I'm here to see you. Oh, they finna fuck. They finna do some fuck. Uh, you two know each other? That's probably his master. Mm. Yes, in fact, I've known him for quite some time now. Well, quite a while, whatever. Same thing. When I first joined the Scavengers, he assisted with a monster habitat survey. Torture! Assisted, more like I was drafted. <laughs> well, Roberto, for the sake of our friendship, I brought you a souvenir from the desert. What the hell is that? Here, it is a conchu? Conchu ornament? It is especially well made. The craftsmen have captured every exquisite detail. Ah, oh, oh, but oh, what the fuck? That's what that is? That nasty bitch coming here with that shit? Get it away. Don't, don't come any closer. Get that shit away from me. It's nasty. <laughs> oh, Roberto, how, that, how delightfully amusing. I see you have not changed in the slightest. Yeah, I ain't gonna change for shit when it comes to liking bugs. Keep it on TV, like I just said. Ah, uh, you must be Lil Lilia? Lilia's friend? Oh, that girl. You must be Lilia's friend. She is well and working very hard. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot she went with me. I forgot about that bitch. 
Awesome! Hey, buddy. We're none too shabby ourselves, you know. So why are you here, Captain? Uh -huh. I require your assistance. Roberto, it appears that you have not completed any mean meaningful meaningful quest of late. Meaning, meaning, oh god, man, I hate myself. Uh, too caught up in your mushroom fascination, it was seen to explain yourself, Re Roberto. <laughs> Can't hide anything from you, huh? Lately, the Babada? Babada rainforest has been all weird. The trees in the river, they're weirdly quiet. There are fewer monsters, too. Deagle. Something's off, man. I've been keeping my ear to the ground, checking it out. Good on you. Well, Roberto, it would appear that you do have your uses after all. Hmm. Well, I, uh, just go with it, you know? Seeing is believing, or whatever. <sighs> the Oasis Ponds has withered. The water has dried up in the desert. Ecorocious. Ecorocious? I forgot what that means. <laughs> What is more, most of the numbers has fallen. I believe all of this could be connected. The hunters have assembled and are forming parties in order to investigate the problem. Roberto, Kiki, I require your assistance. Sure is paw is a paw you can link, leave to us. Sure is paw is a paw you can leave to us. We'll show you just how useful we can be. Okay. Let's go see what's going on. So we're going to the desert. Uh, let us discuss the details of this request that I have for you. I require your assistance in the investigation of a certain cor cor Corpico? Oh, wait, corp I think I know what that is. Corpio cor Corpico of most unusual appearance has been sighted in the mushroom plains. Isn't that Corpico? That's that bird, right? Corpico Cor, I don't know, Cor, cor Corpico, Corpico, I think it's Corpico, are possessed, are possessed of curious ability to mimic the cries of calls of other monsters. Huh. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I don't know who that is. Normally, a Corpico uh, only used their mimic voice when in danger, but this one has been acting most particularly. Uh, this essential use of mimic voice is clearly at odds with the normal behavior patterns. It is my assessment, therefore, that there is a high probability that this heralds the coming of something. We have dubbed this Corpico, Cor Corpico, the Loud Crier. Find the Loud Crier and report back on your observation regarding its behavior. While this is an investigation, the mark is a monster. Be ready in case it attacks. Okay, I want to know what this monster looks like. Yeah. I feel like I know who you're talking about. Do not be. Wait, are you? Yeah. Is it that bird that was introduced in Monster Hunter Three? It's like this yellowish kind of bird. It's like one of the first fights in the Community Guild. I think that. I think that's who they're talking about. Do not be careless in your preparations. Understood? I want to see this bird. Let's get out. I want to see the monster because I think I know because. That monster, if if it is who I think it is, he only showed up in Monster Hunter 3, so it'd be nice to see him again. Because he wasn't in Monster Hunter 4. Well, not that I don't think. He wasn't in 4, he wasn't in Generations. Oh, it is! Yeah, it is him! I knew it! I knew I recognized that name. Yeah, he only showed up in my son of four, no three, and I don't think I've ever saw him after that. Damn, it's nice to see you. Hey, that's the loud crier. That some Simone. Yes, some Simone. 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 Was talking about. Yep. Whoa, buddy. I think we got claws for concern. It spotted us. Oh man. I'm pretty sure he only showed up in three. I know he was introduced in three. I know that for sure. Jesus Christ, it is so blurry. I can't even. I can't even see him. Too bad we gotta kill it. Mm -mm -mm. Take that! <clears throat> oh my God! Yeah, well, at least we got him. Now we gotta take this rat. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, shut up. 
Attack the head. Poison spike. Oh, shit. Kick that. Drop that and probably get the team. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's going to beat me. Oh, he ain't. Going back. He's dead. We did it! Rathian is defeated! Vittery! Vittery! Murder! Murder! Unless he gets back up. Nope. We're poison. Whew. Who would have thought that we'll find a brightened monster here? We better report back to the captain. She's not gonna be happy, kitty. She's not gonna be a happy kitty. Not gonna be a happy kitty, kitty, kitty. You got a serious count, though. Maybe you should change pants. I have. <laughs> I just, I just read the report. You have my thanks for your assistance. Uh huh. Well, I pretty much did the whole thing. You know, I, it was a little more than assisting. Uh, this is probably what uh, Roberto was talking about. I basically did all the work. It would appear that the situation has far more dire than I had imagined. <sighs> if it was the black right that caused the oasis to dry up, we need to deal with it quickly before the damage spreads. There's another oasis in the desert. The village of Abrax? Abrax? There's a strange rumor making the rounds in that village. In the desert at night, the Black Fiend bolts the moon from the sky. Black Fiend? It could have something to do with the Black Bright. I don't know nothing about no Fiend, but I'm not letting that village get destroyed. What's up with the dude? Did he miss his catnap? Abrex is Roberto's hometown. Okay. Mm. Us hunters are heading out to see what's going on. You guys coming on? Does that mean you're letting us join your wicked possum band of hunters? Don't go getting ahead of yourself, little dude. You still got some more work to do if you want to if you want to be recognized by us hunters. First, head to Oasis. Oasis. I think Oasis. The hunters' camp is being set up there. Once you can get there, speak to Gentor. Oh, that guy that yelled at us. <laughs> he leads the hunters. Oh hell, he's gonna have some kind of problem. And take care, Lilia will be beside herself if anything happened to you. Oh. Head to the mark on the map shown on your lower screen. <laughs> okay, I've got a few loose ends to tie up here. Let's meet up at the Oasis. Gotta fuck those girls. Yeah, I hear you. Let me go bust a nut three times and then I'll meet you at the Oasis. Game over. <laughs> I guess you didn't have what it takes.